Sunday, December 20, 2015. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and this is my 1983 Mercedes 240 Diesel. Those are words I feel like I haven't said in a while. Uh, I haven't really done a lot in the way of video on the Mercedes, but uh, today seems like the day. Now, this is not really going to be a DIY video, because I'm sure there's a million DIY videos on installing a car stereo. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of background on this. Uh, as you know, this is a car from the 1980s, designed in the 1970s, and I'm driving it in the 21st century. So, uh, for the most part, I mean, it's still a very comfortable car. I enjoy it uh, from that perspective very much. But there are certain practical things that uh, are best updated. For example, the stereo. Now, this car was originally equipped with a tape deck. And I have it in the garage. I don't actually think the original factory tape deck works. While I was working on this car over the span of three, three and a half years, I acquired this CD player on Craigslist. Cheap. It was used, but in very good condition. And it still is. But um, I have quickly learned that this is actually not the ideal stereo for this car. This is an older Pioneer stereo. And uh, I think the guy I got it from told me he wanted to install a stereo that had an auxiliary jack. This one doesn't. So, uh, let me show you what I have here for a new stereo. Okay, so this here is my new head unit. This, uh, I did some research. Basically, what I was looking for was an in-dash MP3 player. And there are a lot of really inexpensive ones out there. I mean, you can get these as cheap as uh, the $15 to $18 range. This one actually cost roughly double that. And uh, it's still one of the cheaper options out there. But I was seeing some reasonably good reviews on it. This is uh, a really basic stereo. It's AM, FM. It has an SD card slot, an auxiliary jack, and a USB port. So... Basically, it's AM, FM, and uh, anything you can plug into it. And what I also got was uh, uh, was a USB flash drive. And this is a 32 gig drive, and this morning I loaded it up with uh, probably a little less than 4 gigabytes worth of music, and there's a lot on here, so I can keep adding to this. I'm going to install this now, and I'm going to give you my uh, my basic impression of it. But the idea is that, you know, I can plug in my uh, thumb drive and uh, just listen to all my music uh, in MP3 format rather than switching CDs. So I think this is going to be a much better solution for this car. Like I said, this is uh, definitely one of the cheaper ones available out there, but uh, I believe this is going to do the job. So, Okay, here it is installed, and I have tried it. Uh, it is very basic, but it, uh, it's having no trouble reading all my music off that thumb drive. And like I said, I've got a lot more capacity on there for a lot more music. Plus, it's uh, going to be easy enough to swap out another one of those. So, uh, thus far, I'm happy with it. Like I said, it's a cheap stereo. Um, I'm happy enough with the audio quality. Like I said, I put brand new speakers in this car, and they don't have a lot of use yet. So I'm not going to fire it up. Uh, you know, any sound quality issues would be uh, would really not come across on, properly on video. But I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the way it looks here. It's very basic, but it's going to do the job, and I'm not going to have to fumble around with CDs anymore. So, uh, like I said, this is not about audio quality. This is about listening to the music I want. It's about convenience, and uh, uh, thus far, I'm pretty happy with it. And just. One last note, all these buttons do light up in red, and uh, it's a simple black LCD display with a uh, white backlight. So, overall very basic, but it does the job just fine. So this is Mercedes Diesel Guy, thanks for watching.